Hey everybody, it's Aaron at Warmoth, and today we are going to be talking about all the red finishes that Warmoth offers. So as you can imagine, red is a very popular color for guitars, and as a result, Warmoth offers a whole array of reds. And some of them are very easy to tell apart, and some of them are not. So I'm going to go over them all today and hopefully make it easier for you to decide which one you like the best. The first couple I'm going to do are pastel colors, and this is shell pink. And obviously it's not a true red, but it's kind of in the red family, so I figured I would start here. And the next up is Fiesta Red, which is a very popular color for guitars that you've probably seen a million times. It's still not exactly a true red, though. It's almost kind of a coral color, a little redder than that, but um, I'm sure you've seen it before. And here it is next to Shell Pink. Very easy to tell apart, but they're both kind of from that pastel family. And next up is Dakota Red, which is what I would say is the first true red it's very red and it's darker than the others, and also a very popular color for guitars that you've probably seen uh, before. And here it is next to Fiesta Red. You can see Fiesta Red has that kind of coral color. Dakota Red is darker and redder. And the last of our solid reds is Bright Red. And this is, as you can see, a very bright kind of Ferrari red. And here it is next to Dakota Red. You can see Dakota Red is darker and Bright Red is brighter. Now the next two reds that I'm going to show you are both reds that can change depending upon the color of the wood that's underneath them, and that's because they're both transparent. This one here is transparent red, and this body is mahogany, so this is kind of a darker version of transparent red. If you were to put transparent red over an alder body or a swamp ash body, it's going to look lighter. And this is red dye over a flame maple lamb top. And it's important to remember that even wood from the same species can have different coloration or different grain patterns, which will affect the way that it accepts the dye. And so uh, it can make uh, the red dye or transparent red look different. And the last two reds that I'm going to show you are both reds from the Sparkly family. This is Cinder Red, which might be my personal favorite of the bunch. It's almost got kind of an orangey look to it. And the last one is Candy Red, which is another red that you've probably seen a million times before in a million different places, like on a car, for example. And it is a very deep red that has kind of a shimmer to it. And here it is next to Cinder Red. So you can see that Cinder Red kind of has that more orangey look to it, whereas Candy Red has that deep, luscious red. And here are all the reds I just talked about next to each other so you can see the differences. And Wormit does have a couple of other reds that I didn't talk about. Both of them are from the Flake family. One is Red Flake, and one is Inferno Flake. I've already done a video on Inferno Flake, and I'm not including Red Flake today because we are sold out of them. But uh, that'll give me a chance for a new video in the future. And those are all Wormit's red finishes. If you have any more questions, make sure and check out our website or give our customer service reps a call. And until next time, keep on picking!